Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier this week, I let you know about the end of an era, where, as I mentioned in the video, which will be linked down below and in the end screen, Windows Media Player has now stopped identifying CDs. Check the video out for more info. Now, just to let you know about the so-called ending of another era, and this time, basically after 18 years, Microsoft now has fully retired the Windows Vista code base, where Microsoft has now officially retired one of its longest running server platforms. So as of January the 13th this year, which was a couple of days ago, support for Windows Server 2008 has now finally ended and come to an end, including Windows Server 2008 R2 for customers who were covered under the premium assurance. Now, a quick recap, Windows Server 2008 originally launched in 2008 and later received an R2 update in 2009. Now, while mainstream and extended support ended a good couple of years ago, Microsoft continued to offer paid premium assurance updates, so basically an ESU program for select enterprise customers. And as mentioned, this now has finally come to an end and has now fully been retired, according to Microsoft. So from this point and moving forward, Windows Server 2008 will no longer receive security patches, bug fixes or technical support from Microsoft. So interesting stuff. Now, Windows Vista has received a lot of hate over the years. And for me personally, it was a system I actually never ran on a personal level, but when I was still in the RT game, so to speak, I found it very clunky and I spent more time trying to disable features and settings and options in the operating system than actually working on it. But although this is the case for me personally, I didn't like it and I know there's a lot of Windows users who don't like Windows Vista or didn't like Windows Vista. Something interesting is that the Windows Vista code base has technically received updates for a longer period than Windows XP did. And Windows XP is personally my favorite Windows. And in my personal opinion, has been one of the better options of Windows or the one of the better editions of Windows that's been ever been made available. So the code base of Vista actually outlasted XP in terms of its actual usage and being supported. And Windows Server 2008 was codenamed Longhorn Server as well, in case you're unaware. So I just thought I'd pop this quick video up just to let you know that the Vista error, so to speak, regarding the Vista error foundations has now been fully retired and deprecated by Microsoft. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.